IHGN Studios, it's Braves Beat. Hello Spooky Braves, I'm Rama Sardar. And I'm Dylan Condor. So Dylan, what do mummies listen to on Halloween? Rap music. How did you know that? I read the script. You would. Let's get into the news. As we wrap up 2019's Hispanic Heritage Month, we would like to share an excerpt from Geraldo Cadava of the Washington Post. Quote, don't just say you love Latinas during Hispanic Heritage Month. Honor the complexities of Latina histories throughout the year. The truth is that Latinas have expanded, shaped, and reimagined the nation and the world. We need to recognize that Latina history is American history, end quote. Even though the celebration month is over, we need to remember the amazing contributions of our Latino Americans. Did you know October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? DECA would like to raise awareness and funds to support this cause because most of us know someone who's been diagnosed. We'll be collecting donations and jars within classrooms all of next week during MP. The teacher whose jar has the most money will be chosen to pie Mr. Domadeo in the face at the football game on Friday the 25th. The game will be a pink out to support breast cancer and there will be a bake sale. We need volunteers to bring baked goods prior to the game. No school that day, so plenty of time to bake. Please contact Mrs. Schonauer, Coco Davis, Samantha Blicker, or Taylor Forger to sign up. In other news, the talent show is fast approaching and we don't want to catch you off by surprise. Beginning Tuesday, October 15th, you can pick up your application form and sign up for the talent contest on December 12th from 1.30 to 2.45. These applications are due November 8th. Shortly after that, you will be assigned a two-hour period between 3 to 5 p.m. and 5 to 7 p.m. for the first rehearsal, which will take place on November 20th. You will also receive another two-hour period for at the second rehearsal at December 10th. I had a chance to interview Mr. Clark about this year's powwow. Let's check it out. Hi Braves, I'm here with Mr. Clark and he's the director of Powwow this year which is Phantom of the Opera and he's also the choir and premieres teacher. So Mr. Clark, what is Phantom of the Opera all about? So Phantom of the Opera, it's a classic tale, uh, obviously a scary story, um, about a mysterious apparition that haunts the Paris Opera House. And of course, not only is there just the apparition of the Phantom, but there's also a love story going on above, uh, above where there's operas going on at the Opera House nonstop. And there's a love triangle that develops between the Phantom and then two other people, um, one of the whom is Christine, who is the girl who he's been giving secret lessons to. Um, but the entire piece, the entire show, is one of Broadway's longest running musicals. When are auditions being held? Auditions are the last week of October, so we're going to have um, preliminary auditions on Monday and Tuesday, the 28th and 29th of October. Um, all you need to do is go online. I think they're going to show the link for um, the Phantom of the Opera uh, information, and you'll just need to print, print the audition form, show up. There's some audition music that's out there online, online for you but just show up, we will find a way to get you involved. Uh, there's things on stage, there's things off stage. We have a wonderful tech crew uh, that Mr. Kimmons leads. What's really cool about Phantom is the fact that we actually have pyrotechnics, so we're gonna have things that are gonna be lit up and, f and fire stuff that's happening. We're gonna have the chandelier which comes crashing down on stage. Uh, there's just a lot of really cool things. So again, whether you sing or dance or you don't sing or dance, but when you're involved in behind the scenes or on stage, there's, there's a place for you at Phantom. Thank you so much for coming in today, and back to you on the news desk. In sports news, the boys golf team finished only two strokes from eighth place, but did place ninth in the top ten state. Great season, boys. Your 2019 season as state qualifiers is in the record books forever. Great news from IHHS cross country. Many athletes are medalists, and girls are CHL champions. Elizabeth Whaley and Alex Galbraith are CHL runners of the year, and Coach Savage has been named Coach of the Year. Great job, Braves. Our girls varsity tennis team defeated Oakwood 3-1 in the advance to the state final four to be played in Reynoldsburg, Ohio on October 20th. Congrats to our girls tennis district champs Morgan and Haley. Good luck in the state tournament. Senior Andrew Shawnacamp was one of the 32 students in the nation selected to participate in the Economics for Leaders program conducted this past July at Case Western Reserve University. Congratulations, Andrew. Well, that's all that we have for this short week. Don't forget to thank your bus drivers for their Appreciation Day next Wednesday. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy in Indian, Indian Hill. Hill. Can you explain to me what a hoss trap is? Um, meatloaf. Meatloaf? Meatloaf. Gerald, do you know what a hoss trap is? No, but I see it on some kid's license plate all the time. <laughs> Nate, if you were a girl, what would your name be? Evelyn. Evelyn. 
the hoss trap is feeling messy. All right, coach, if you were a girl, what would your name be? Patricia. If you were a girl, what would your name be? Uh, Mia. All right, Big Poo. If you were a girl, what would your name be? Brandy. All right, everyone, we're going into uh, Mr. Saeed's six period. Heard it's a jungle. Hey! hey Mr. Saeed. If you were a girl, what would your name be? Felicia. Felicia! <laughs> what is your sister's name? Skybar. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more thing, one more thing. Where is your dad from? Indian Hill. Okay. <laughs>